As I was listening to your comments, I couldn't help think of Tony Stark and his <laughs> yeah. AI, intelligent AI. And I wonder, yeah. as you think about that, that what makes him a superhero is having that AI that can orchestrate all parts of his life and analyze on demand. And I wonder if that's the paradigm that you see us accelerating towards. And what do we need to do in order to get from here to there within a time frame? You bring up Jarvis, <laughs> for those people that follow Marvel. <laughs> um, I use Jarvis as an example. I think the future is more Jarvis, less Ready Player One. I don't want to be stuck in a VR headset in a container in a dystopic world. <laughs> um, I do see more it as Jarvis enabling us to do things, you know, and, you know, kind of augmenting our capabilities. My second book is actually called The Augmented Workforce, and it goes into how we're starting to augment humans with more technology. Um, how do you start to prepare for that future? Once again, it's really early. But if you start to understand that eventually the physical world becomes where computing is going to live and where we're going to access that data layer that we can't really see right now, then you have to start to think about how do my services change? How do my products change? Especially, and this is my biggest advice to everyone here, start to look at Gen Alpha. Gen Alpha are the kids of millennials. I'm an older millennial. I've got three Gen Alpha kids. These children do not, have, do not see a difference between virtual and physical. Millennials and older see the real world and the virtual world. Gen Z, and especially Gen Alpha, they move in between a continuum. Like, th there is no difference to them what happens. I always say this, and I'm, I know we're running over, but my son, who's a Roblox developer, if he's playing Roblox and he gets into a fight with his friend, he's going to be angry at his friend the next day at school, right? It's just because it happened in Roblox doesn't mean it wasn't real. So this, this younger generation, who by 2030 will be 10% of the workforce, is going to change a lot of things because they flow between physical and virtual very easily. Well, I, for one, am looking forward to the future. Kathy, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> this brings us to the end of our chapter, which means it's lunchtime.